Ventilator mode classification, breathing patterns. This lecture was adopted from the following journal article. Breathing patterns. Breathing patterns is comprised of two components which was addressed in other lectures. One is breath control variables and breath sequences. Here's just a little review. There are pri three primary breath control variables, volume, pressure, and dual control. The control variable is defined by what remains constant when the ventilator experiences changes in the respiratory system. The ventilator can only control one variable at a time during inspiration. However, it can switch variables during a single inspiratory phase. There are three breath sequences, continuous spontaneous ventilation, continuous mandatory ventilation, and intermittent mandatory ventilation. With the CSV, all breaths are spontaneous, which may be assisted or unassisted. With CMV, every inspiration is a mandatory breath with a fixed inspiratory time. IMV, they're comprised of mandatory and spontaneous breaths. Additionally, newer ventilators may incorporate a open breathing system, which allows for unhindered spontaneous breathing within mandatory breaths. Now breathing patterns. There are eight distinct breathing patterns. There is volume control continuous mandatory ventilation. There's volume control intermittent mandatory ventilation. There's pressure control CMV, pressure control IMV, and pressure control continuous spontaneous ventilation. Additionally, there's also dual control CMV, dual control IMV, and dual control CSV. First, VCCMV. All breaths are mandatory with the operator selected tidal volume and flow rate or inspiratory time, depending on the ventilator. So here is an example of volume control CMV, and this is my simulator here. And I have a set breath rate of 10. And if we look through the waveforms, we notice we have a fixed inspiratory flow rate for a fixed certain amount of time. So I'm just showing that I have a fixed I time right there of 1.2 seconds. And that's based either on an IE ratio setting, a flow setting, or an I time setting. And if a patient spontaneously breathes, the spontaneous attempts will be followed by mandatory breaths for that fixed volume or flow for the fixed amount of time. Volume control IMV. Breaths may be mandatory or spontaneous. Mandatory breaths are, are operator selected tidal volume and flow slash eye time. And spontaneous breaths may be assisted. So here's some ventilator waveforms. And here's my flow in red and my pressure in blue. So this is volume control, so my flow should be constant. And this just shows you first the constant set rate of the mandatory breaths. And we're going to grade out. And here's my next series of waveform breaths. And as you start to notice, there's spontaneous efforts in between breaths. And here's another spontaneous effort. And you notice that it's a spontaneous breath. However, it's for the patient's inspiratory phase and expiratory phase. It's not for a set inspiratory time or expiratory time. So this is an example of volume control IMV. And these breaths are unassisted breaths. So this would be example of volume control IMV, and the patient is just 
breathing on top of PEEP or CPAP. And it's more obvious with this set of waveforms, my spontaneous breaths in between my mandatory breaths and how they look totally different than my mandatory breaths, which were for a fixed volume in a fixed inspiratory time. Next, pressure control CMV. In pressure control CMV, all breaths are mandatory with the operator selected pressure and eye time or IE ratio. So here's an example. Here's just a ventilator waveform graphics. And this is just a picture of pressure control CMV where I have a set inspiratory pressure for a fixed amount of time. And if I have spontaneous attempts, it will, they will go, the breaths will be for set pressure for set inspiratory time or IE ratio. Now pressure control IMV. With pressure control IMV, breaths may be mandatory or spontaneous. The mandatory breaths are operator selected pressure and the I time and IE ratio is constant also. And your spontaneous breaths may be assisted. So this picture shows our ventilator waveforms. And if we look at our pressure waveform, we see a couple things. We see our fixed mandatory breaths for fixed pressure for a fixed amount of time. If we look at our flow waveform and we see the flow distortions going on, and you can also see in the pressure waveform, these are my spontaneous breaths in between my mandatory breaths. However, my spontaneous breaths are not for a fixed amount of time. They look totally different from my mandatory breaths. And this patient is actually pressure control IMV, and they have about approximately five centimeters of water of pressure support to augment the spontaneous breathing. Now, pressure control continuous spontaneous ventilation. With PCCSV, all breaths are spontaneous and may be augmented with pressure. Here is an example of CPAP, the most common form of continuous spontaneously breathing. So with CPAP, pure CSV, all breaths are spontaneous. However, they're not assisted. So the breast patient can set their own breathing pattern rate. Other examples of pressure control, continuous spontaneous ventilation that are assisted breaths are, which is very common, pressure support, automatic tube compensation, proportional cyst ventilation, NAVA, volume support, adaptive support ventilation, and pressure support controlled with smart care ventilation or intelligent ventilation. I'm not going to go over these now. I'll be going these over in a different lecture when I talk about control types. Now with dual control continuous mandatory ventilation, all breaths are mandatory with an operator selected tidal volume and flow slash eye time. Until a pressure limit is reached, then the breath resembles a pressure controlled breath. Set at 35 right now. And what happens is, 
is it will remain a volume controlled breath unless the P max is reached. And as you notice, the resistance has changed at 30, and the P max has been reached, and you notice the breath starts squaring off. So it's turning into a pressure controlled breath now. Dual control IMV. With dual control IMV, breaths may be mandatory or spontaneous. Mandatory breaths are operator selected tidal volume and flow slash eye time until the pressure limit is reached. Then the breath resembles a pressure control breath. Spontaneous breaths may be assisted. So this waveform shows dual control IMV. So first, here's the baseline set of waveforms, and you notice it just looks like a volume control breath until the patient starts initiating spontaneous breaths. Now with this series of breaths, or this breath phase, there's starting to be some spontaneous initiated breaths, as you start to notice in the flow and the pressure waveforms. So they're, they're much different than the mandatory breaths. So these are spontaneous breaths, and they are assisted by pressure support. And I'm just going to gray this out to show the contrast between the IEMV breath phase with what's going to be the Pmax, which is going to happen with changes in compliance and resistance. So this next breath series is the breath hitting the Pmax level or the mandatory breaths, as indicated by this breath shown by my pointer. However, the spontaneous breaths haven't met my Pmax threshold. However, the mandatory breaths have. So my mandatory breaths that started as a volume control breath are now pressure control breaths. Dual control CSV. With dual control CSV, the breath starts out as a assisted spontaneous breath. If tidal volume is not met, the breath changes to a volume control breath. And I don't have any slides or pictures or examples of this. In summation, there are two components which divide breathing pattern. These are the breath control variable and breath sequence. There are eight distinct breathing patterns. All modes of ventilation can be identified by a specific breathing pattern.